welcome to our 10 tips to help you make sure you get the best score you can in your IELTS listening test. Prepare properly for the test, starting today. Listen to English every day. Listen to the radio, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube and English language TV. For example, sitcoms like Everybody Loves Raymond, Friends and The Big Bang Theory. And if you can watch programmes with the subtitles, even better. Make sure you are an active listener which means listening really carefully to make sense of what you hear. Make sure your listening and your learning is enjoyable or else you're not going to do it. So listen to things that interest you and people you like and songs you enjoy. Most of the accents you will hear in the test recordings will be British. So make sure you listen to a lot of British accents. Be aware of regional accents and dialects. By that I mean the slightly different pronunciation you get in the different parts of the UK. Listen to different English accents from other countries. So perhaps listen to a bit of Canadian radio or listen to an Australian podcast to get a feel for what English accents from different countries sound like. Also remember that different English speaking countries sometimes use different words for the same thing. British people take the lift whilst American people catch the elevator. Read the IELTS information provided on the ulearn.education and IELTS.org websites. Also, look at the takeielts.britishcouncil.org and the cambridgeenglish.org website. Get as much information about IELTS as you can. Do the practice tests on the IELTS.org website. The more practice tests you do, the better your chances of achieving a high band. Make sure as well that you are comfortable with the different types of questions you might have to answer in your tests, like sentence completion, multiple choice, matching and diagram labeling. When you are doing the practice questions, Simulate as closely as you can the conditions you will be working under when you take your IELTS test. So sit on your own, without the TV, without other distractions. Don't stop in the middle to answer a text message. Listen to the question once and answer the questions within the time limit, just like you will have to do in the real test. Don't take 40 or 50 minutes to complete a half hour test and think you can just speed up on the day, it's not that easy. Also, when you take your IELTS test, you will have to listen and write at the same time. So make sure you practice this. Make sure you are prepared and ready on the day of the test. Make sure you know where you need to go and what time you need to be there and how you're gonna get there. Get plenty of rest the night before and don't be late. The last thing you want is unnecessary extra stress on test day because you didn't manage your time properly. And make sure you sit comfortably when you take your test. Read the questions really carefully and follow all the instructions you are given. For example, you might be asked to write one word only or write no more than three words. So make sure you do exactly that. If you're asked to write your answer in no more than three words and you use four words, even if they give the correct answer, your answer will be wrong because you haven't followed the instructions. Missing a critical word or phrase could change the meaning of a sentence or even the whole scenario you are listening to. So listen carefully to the entire recording. Don't think you know or assume you know what a conversation means before someone has finished speaking. You might have a conversation about two friends meeting up and one person decides to travel there by bus. But a few sentences later, one of the speakers remembers that there are no buses today. So their friend then decides to travel by car. 
Now, that simple conversation about catching a bus has changed its meaning completely. I know it's a listening test and not a handwriting test, but if your examiner can't read all your answers, you will lose marks. If you make spelling mistakes, you will lose marks. And if they can't read any of it, you won't get any marks. Work on the questions sheet and then transfer your answers to the answer sheet in the time allowed at the end of the test. You should have enough time to present your answers neatly and accurately. You can write your answers in upper or lower case. Finally, leave enough time to check your work at the end. Check things like the correct spelling of words. So if you have used the word there, should it be spelt T-H-E-R-E -E or T-H-E-I-R. Also, have you correctly used the future and past tenses? You might be able to identify some key words in the question that give a clue to the type of answer the examiner is looking for. You can underline these if you like. For example, if the question says how often, then you need to listen out for a number or perhaps a date or a time. If the question is how much, you need to listen carefully for a cost or a price. Listen out for alternatives for the words in the question or words with similar meaning. For example, the question might include the word annually but the relevant phrase in the recording might describe this as every year or each year. Also, think carefully about numbers. A number may be written as 2246, but might be spoken as 2246 or even 2246. Keep focused throughout the test. You will only hear the recordings once. Don't let yourself get distracted or stressed out just because you hear one word that you aren't familiar with. You might not even need to know what that word means to answer the question. Don't forget to attempt all the questions, even if it's a guess. You aren't penalized for incorrect answers. And finally, remember the three P's of exam success. Patience, persistence, and perspiration. Don't panic, stay focused, and work hard. I hope you found our tips useful, and don't forget to watch our other videos to help you get the highest band you can in the other IELTS for UKVI academic tests.